pulls the veil off your eyes and he makes you look and see everything for what it is. This wicked world will perish. This wicked world will perish and everything in it. You will stand before God one day. You will not have no one around you. You will be judged by Christ Jesus. And you're going to give a, an account for every every thought, everything you said, every every word you said. Every ungodly thing you've done. You will give an account and you will pay for everything you've done. The Bible says that God is not mocked. A man will will, will reap every everything he sows. If you if you sow to your flesh corruption, you will reap corruption. Amen. But if you sow to your spirit spiritual things, you will receive eternal life with Christ Jesus Himself. So, folks, we're out here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ that He died and He rose again on the third day. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Turn to Jesus Christ, folks. God will turn your life around. He turned our life around. He can, he can turn your life around too. Yes. He can turn you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. He can turn you from a sinner into a saint. You see, folks, Jesus is coming back soon and he loves you. And we're out here not preaching. Come to my church. We don't want nothing from you, but we want to share the love of Jesus Christ because he's loved us and we want to share the freely we have received it, freely we give. Turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late, folks. He loves you so much that he died on that cross for you. Why must you continue in your sin? Why must continue? you continue? The Bible says, if you love me, Jesus Christ says this to everyone here. If you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. It doesn't say if you love me, come to church. It doesn't say if you love me, uh, you know, do X, Y, and Z. He says if you love me, you must keep his commandments. It's not enough that you go to Sunday to church. It's not enough that you do your sacraments or all these things. Jesus Christ wants you to be faithful and to do works of righteousness because you will be judged. There will be a day of judgment coming, folks. We must get it right with Christ.